This video depicts topics of violence, murder, and death, and is not suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. The Beaumont children disappearance refers to the mysterious vanishing of three children in Australia in 1966. The siblings, Jane, age 9, Arna, age 7, and Grant, age 4 Beaumont, were last seen in Glenelg, Beach in Adelaide, South Australia, on January 26, 1966, which is celebrated in Australia as Australia Day. Here's a brief description of some of the key details surrounding their disappearance. The last the children were last seen around midday on January 26, 1966, at Glenegle Beach. They were seen playing near the water's edge and then at a nearby playground. Several witnesses reported seeing the children at the beach that day. Some witnesses claimed that they seen them walking away from the beach with a tall, blonde man, though these sightings were never confirmed. The children were reported missing when they did not return home that evening. Despite an extensive search involving police, volunteers, and the military, no trace of the children were ever found. The investigation into the disappearance of the Beaumont children remains one of Australia's most infamous unsolved cases. Numerous theories and leads have been pursued over the years, but none have resulted in definitive answers. Over the years, various individuals have been considered as suspects, including a man named Derek Percy, who was a convicted child killer. However, no concrete evidence linking any suspect to the disappearance has ever been found. The disappearance of the Beaumont children had a profound impact on Australian society and law enforcement practices. It led to changes uh, in how missing persons cases are handled and raised awareness about child, children's safety. Despite decades of investigations, public interest, and media coverage, the fate of the Beaumont children remains unknown to this day. The case continues to captivate the public uh, imagination and remains a subject of speculation and debate in Australia. The Beaumont children disappearance is a tragic event in Australian history that has left lasting impact on the nation's collective consciousness. While there isn't a formal biography of the children themselves, here's a very basic and brief background information on the family and the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the children. The Beaumont family consisted of Jim and Nancy Beaumont and their three children, Jane, Arna, and Grant. They all lived in Somerton Park, a suburb of Adelaide, South Australia. Jim Beaumont worked as a salesman, while Nancy worked as a homemaker caring for their children. On January 26, 1966, which coincided with Australia Day, the Beaumont children went to Glenelg Beach, a popular seaside destination in Adelaide. It was a hot summer day and the children aged 9, 7, and 4 respectively were excited to spend time at the beach. They were seen playing near the water at a nearby playground. However, tragedy struck when the children failed to return home by their usual time. Concerned, their parents reported them missing to the police that evening. What followed was one of the largest and most intensive missing persons investigations in Australian history. Despite extensive searches involving the police, volunteers, and the military, no trace of the Beaumont children was ever found. 
The case captivated the nation and the media coverage was unprecedented. The disappearance of the Beaumont children shook Australian society to its core and led to significant changes in how missing persons cases are handled in the country. Over the years, numerous theories and leads er emerged regarding what might have happened to the children. Various suspects have been considered, including convicted child killer Derek Percy, but no conclusive evidence was ever found. Today, the fate of Jane, Arna, and Grand Beaumont remains a mystery. Their disappearance continues to haunt Australian public, and the case remains open with authorities periodically reviewing any new leads or evidence that may emerge over the time. The Beaumont children's disappearance is one of Australia's most notorious unsolved mysteries, and over the years, several suspects have been considered in connection with the case. While none of them have been definitively linked to the disappearance, here's a brief biographical information about some of the key suspects. Derek Ernest Percy was a no notorious Australian child killer and suspected serial killer. He was born on September 15, 1948 in Melbourne, Australia. Percy was convicted of the murder of the 12-year-old Yvonne Tohuni in Victoria in 1969. He was also linked to the unsolved murders of other children. Percy was a person of interest in the Beaumont case due to his proximity to Adelaide at the time of the disappearance and his history of violent crimes against children. However, no concrete evidence has ever connected him to the Beaumont children's disappearance. Arthur Steele Brown was a convicted child sex offender and pedophile who lived in Adelaide at the time of the Beaumont's children's disappearance. He was known to frequent Glengale Beach where the children were last seen. Brown became a suspect in the case due to his criminal history and the fact that he was closely matched to the description of a, the man seen with the children the day of their disappearance. However, like other suspects, no conclusive evidence has ever linked him to the crime. Bevan Spencer von Einman was an Adelaide based businessman who gained infamy for his involvement in the murder of 15-year-old Richard Kelvin in 1983. He was also suspected of involvement in their other cases, unsolved and disappearances in Adelaide. Due to his proximity to the Beaumont's children's disappearance and his criminal history, von Eidmann was also considered a person of interest in the case. However, no direct evidence has ever implicated him in the crime. Over the years, numerous other individuals were also considered as possible suspects in the Beaumont children's disappearance, included convicted criminals and individuals with connection to the Adelaide area. Unfortunately, none have been definitively linked to the case, and the mystery remains unsolved. It's important to note that these individuals have been considered suspects in the Beaumont case. They have not been formally charged, however, and con or convicted in connection with the disappearance. The investigation in the Beaumont children's disappearance remains open and the authorities continue to pursue any new leads or evidence that may emerge. The forensic involved in the Beaumont children's disappearance has been limited due to the lack of physical evidence and the passage of time since the incident occurred. However, forensic techniques have been utilized to analyze any available evidence and to investigate various aspects of the case. Here is a brief description of some of the forensic aspects that have been involved. Crime scene processing. 
the area where the Beaumont children were last seen, particularly Glen Eagle Beach and the surrounded vicinity, would have been processed as a crime scene. Forensic experts would have searched for any potential evidence, such as fingerprints, footprints, or any other trace evidence that could provide clues about the children's disappearance. Witness statements. Forensic techniques have also been utilized to witness statements and testimonies provided by individuals who reported seeing the Beaumont children on the day of their disappearance. This would have involved techniques such as forensic interviewing to elicit accurate and detailed information from the witnesses. DNA analysis. In recent years, advances in DNA analysis have allowed forensic experts to re-examine some of the evidence collected from the case. This would have included any items that would have recovered off from the beach and or other locations associated with the disappearances. DNA analysis could potentially yield new leads or identify suspects if any biological material would be found. Digital Forensic With some advancements of technology, digital forensic has played a role in the investigation of the Beaumont case. This would involve analyzing electronic records, communications, or other digital evidence that would have provided insight into the circumstances surrounding the disappearances. Forensic Psychology Forensic psychologists would be involved in analyzing the behavior of potential suspects or persons of interest in the case. This would include profiling individuals based on psychological characteristics and behavioral patterns to aid in the investigation. Isotope analysis. Isotope analysis would have been used in some missing person cases to determine geographical locations where individuals may have spent significant time based on the isotopic composition of their tissues, such as hair or teeth. While this technique may not have been directly applied in the Beaumont case, it's a potential forensic avenue for investigation. Despite these forensic techniques and efforts, the Beaumont children disappearances remains unsolved and the conclusive forensic evidence directly linking to the whereabouts of Jane, Arna, and Grant Beaumont has yet to be found. The case remains open and authorities continue to explore new leads or advancements in forensic technology that may aid in resolving the mystery. The investigation into the disappearance of the Beaumont children involved multiple law enforcement agencies, government organizations, and volunteers. Here's a brief description of some of the key agencies and organizations that were involved in the investigation. South Australian Police, or SAPOL. As the primary law enforcement agency in South Australia, SAPOL took the lead in investigating the Beaumont children's disappearance. They coordinated search efforts, conducted interviews, and gathered evidence in collaboration with other agencies. The Australian Federal Police, or AFP. The AFP would have provided assistance to SAPOL in the investigation, particularly in areas such as forensic analysis, intelligence gathering, and coordination with other national and international law enforcement agencies. The Missing Persons Unit Within SAPOL is the existence of a specialized unit or division dedicated to investigating missing person cases. This unit would have played a central role in coordinating the investigation and managing resources related to the Beaumont case. The State Emergency Service, or CES, 
The CES is a volunteer organization that assists with search and rescue operation, including missing person cases. CES volunteers would have been involved in conducting searches of various areas, including beaches, parks, and other locations where the children were last seen. Local government authorities. Of course, local government authorities, such as the city councils and municipal governments, would have played and provided support to law enforcement agents sees in coordinated uh, search efforts and providing resources for their investigation. Media organizations, media outlets played a significant role in publicizing the case and raising awareness about the disappearance of the Beaumont children. Journalists and reporters covered the story extensively, which helped keep the case in the public eye and encouraged potential witnesses to come forward with information. The community volunteers. The disappearance of the Beaumont children prompted an outpour of support from the community, with many volunteers assisting law enforcement agencies in search efforts and distributing flyers with information about the missing children. These were just some of the key agencies and organizations that were involved in the investigation into the Beaumont children disappearance. Despite the best and most extensive efforts of law enforcement and other stakeholders, the case remains unsolved and the fate of Jane, Arna, and Grant Beaumont continues to be a mystery to this day. The disappearance of the Beaumont children has led to numerous theories over the years, ranging from abduction to accidental drowning. While none of these theories have been conclusively proven, they offer different perspectives on what might have happened to Jane, Arna, and Grant Beaumont. Here's just, just a brief description of some of the prominent theories surrounding their disappearance. Abduction by a stranger. One of the most widely considered theories is that the children were abducted by a stranger. Witnesses reported seeing the children with a man on the day they disappeared, leading to speculation that they might have been lured by an, uh, away by an unknown individual. However, despite extensive investigations, no solid evidence linking any specific suspect to the abduction has ever been found. Accidental drowning. Another theory is that the children may have accidentally drowned while playing at Glenelg Beach. Adelaide experienced extreme heat on the day of their disappearance, and it's possible that the children would have encountered trouble while swimming. However, extensive searches on the beach and surrounding areas failed to uncover any evidence to support this theory. Human trafficking. Some theories suggest that the children may have been victims to human trafficking, either domestically or internationally. This theory posits that they were abducted and sold into slavery or forced labor. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this speculation and human trafficking was not as widely recognized as an issue at the time of their disappearance. Involvement of a serial killer. Given the time period and location of the disappearance, some theories propose that the Beaumont children may have been fallen to a victim to a serial killer operating in the area. Suspects such as Derek Percy, who was an active serial murderer in the Victoria area during this time, have been considered in this context. Unfortunately, however, no definitive evidence linking any specific serial killer to the case has ever been found. Accidental death and cover-up. Another theory is that the children may have been accidentally killed or died and their bodies were concealed or disposed of to avoid detection. 
This theory suggests that someone, possibly a member of the public or even a witness, may have been involved in covering up the incident to avoid suspicion or legal repercussions. Runaway or family dispute. Some speculate that the children may have run away from home or became lost, either intentionally or unintentionally. Others suspect that the possibility of a family dispute or conflict lead into their disappearance, although there is little evidence to support this theory. These are just a few of the theories that have emerged surrounding the Beaumont children's disappearance. Despite decades of investigation and speculation, the case remains unsolved and the fate of Jane Arna and Grat Beaumont continues to be a mystery. <laughs>